in this video today I'm going to show you how you can make a custom caption for the Dreaming Tree candy cart. In this case we're going to make one that says flowers. So let's begin. All right I'm in an Inkscape right now and the version of Inkscape that I'm using is version 0.92. The most recent version of Inkscape, for some reason, this process doesn't work for creating a shadow for the text. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select my text. The font I'm using is Corget. And I will just type in the text I want to use. And so I'm going to use the word flowers. I'm going to come up here and select it. And I am going to duplicate it. And I'll move this out of the way. I'm going to come back to my original one. And I'm going to come up to Path. And I am going to Outset. And I'll do it one more time. And I will expand this up. I don't want this little hole in there. So I'm just going to add a shape here. Just to cover that up. I don't know why that's got that. There. And I will select them both. And I will come up to Path and I will Union. And so this makes the shadow of the text. So we can bring our text over here. Let's change the color of this text so that it can be better seen. And so now you can see we have our shadow and also the flowers. And so I'm going to come up to Path and I'm going to go to Union for the flowers. Now I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to Save As. And I am going to save it as a plain SVG. It's going to want to default to Inkscape SVG, but you want to change this to plain. And then I will just name this Flowers with Shadow and save it. Okay, now we're in Cricut Design Space. We're going to come over here to Upload. We're going to upload an image, and we're going to browse to the file that we just saved from Inkscape, and that is Flowers with Shadow. And so I'm going to open it, and I'll save it, select it, and insert image. And I'll make it a little larger so that it's uh, the right size and I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to duplicate this a couple more times. This is the shadow for the text. And to help in the process of when we're going to do all our slicing through these shadow shapes, I'm going to change these to three different colors just so that I can keep things even. So now I'm going to move my flowers on top of the first shadow shape and I will center horizontally and center vertically and then I'm going to slice it. Now I'll just carefully click and drag the original flowers out of the way so now we've got our cut flowers out of the red uh, shadow layer. And you'll notice it's also going to cut out the center of the O and the dot of the E. So you want to just click on the sliced out flowers. We're going to come and contour everything out except for these center pieces, which we're going to want to keep. So everything else here is going to be contoured out. Oops, we don't want either of those or that. So all we're going to have is the center of the O and the center of the E. 
Now we're going to take our next layer of the shadow and we're going to carefully slide this over so that it lines up as good as we can get it. And we may expand this a bit. And I want my yellow one again. And we will line that up like that. Now I'm going to hide the red layer. So all we've got here are the two little pieces that we want to keep and the yellow layer. So I'm going to select those little contoured pieces and the yellow layer and I'm going to slice it. So now I'm going to zoom back out so you can see what we're doing here. And so Redisplay my yellow or the red. So now we can get rid of these contoured pieces. And so we've got everything we need right here. Okay, and so we've got our three cut pieces here. So this is going to be the top layer. And so this is going to be the color of the shadow. This middle layer with the two little pieces cut out this is going to be our text color. So in this case, it's going to be red. And then this bottom layer is going to be so that we can show through these two little slice pieces. So that's going to be the shadow layer again. So how this is going to go is your text is going to be on top. And then this will go on the very bottom. Okay. I'm going to select the whole thing. I want this width to be about one and three quarters inch. So I'm going to size this down to the size that I want it to be. And then when we go to make it, we'll cut out the red portion and then also our background portion. So I'm gonna go cut these out on my Cricut and we'll be back. And here are the three different cut pieces. The red will be placed onto the background. So you'll just glue these together lining them up and then the text will go on top of here And that is how you make the little caption for the candy cart. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.